When I was in elementary school, the Greenville Symphony in Greenville, South Carolina had a group come through and played at our elementary school. And I fell in love with the cello. And I played the cello through high school. I went to the Fine Arts Center, then I went to college at Furman University on a music scholarship. They say an instrument speaks to like each person has their own instrument they're drawn to. In a string quartet, the cello player is setting the rhythm and we're setting the tempo. And if we decide to go too fast, everybody still has to follow us, right? So we can, we can, we have a lot of influence. Then also a cello player gets to support everyone, right? So in that you're also supporting others and helping make sure that they look their best. I think that's part of the reason why the cello also spoke to me. And then when I was at college, I was also editor of the college newspaper and decided that in order to do what I love most and serve the orchestra world and make sure that people have music, I was better served doing administration. And then I've been working in the field ever since. Thirteen years ago, I was hired to be the executive director of the Arkansas Symphony Orchestra here in Little Rock. In 2009, um, the situation was, was, was dire. We had six months before we were gonna run out of cash. So the board dramatically increased their giving. The musicians and the staff took pay cuts and eliminated some positions and that's how we got through. So since then it's been an all in, all sacrifice, but all succeed together. Our giving from the board, the year before I got here, it was $45,000. The board giving now for the annual fund is $450,000. The Arkansas Symphony Orchestra is the largest employer of professional artists in the state of Arkansas. We employ over 100 musicians. We employ at least 12 full-time musicians and teachers. So if you want your kid to learn violin or cello, you're more than likely taking from one of our musicians. Some orchestra and youth orchestra and music just makes good leaders. They do have to learn the group participation. They do have to learn how to show up. They do learn that they have to be disciplined and practice on their own in order to be a member of the team. Uh, there's so many incredible lessons that you get from participating in music. And we're also the state's resource. So we have three youth orchestras. Our youth orchestras, our members of our youth orchestra come from 33 communities from across our state. We perform in Little Rock is our home, Robinson Auditorium, when the orchestra performs. But we also perform in Russellville. We perform in Hot Springs, Hot Springs Village. Stuttgart, Mountain Home. So we play all across the state. We do children's concerts for elementary school kids for in Little Rock, Hot Springs, and Russellville. And during COVID, we videoed it and we broadcast it and made it available to everyone. And so 20,000 children from across the state watched it uh, in 30 different counties from across our state. We're an orchestra that during COVID our musicians, Drew Irvin, um, switched immediately and created Bedtime with Bach. And so Drew's one of our concert masters and Drew started Bedtime with Bach on that Friday in March. And so for a hundred nights, a musician at nine o'clock every night did like a little lullaby on Facebook and on our website. Because Drew did it really fast, we were one of the leading orchestras that put something out on the internet for people to watch. Because the other thing with COVID is we didn't know what we could count on. There was no structure. I like structure. I like to know where I'm going to be at 8 o'clock in the morning. Drew created that structure for us so that I didn't know what was happening in the world, but I knew at 9 o'clock every single night I could watch an Arkansas Symphony musician. And music has the power to connect us all and remind us of what's the same and what's good about us. And so that is why I do what I do. I love it so very much and I just believe it's so powerful and I believe that music brings good into the world. We've had some really lean years and some hard years and here we are now about to finish up a capital campaign and break ground on a new community music center. I mean, I'm just so excited. The music center is gonna be like the book Stone Soup. It'll be the bowl. And I think people will just bring different things and we're gonna create this incredible resource for, for everyone to use in this new music center. I am so thankful that 13 years ago, I was asked to come here and work with the Arkansas Symphony Orchestra because it's been a beautiful journey. And really, I do like being surrounded by really smart people and I've thankfully gotten that here.